Welcome to Ridiculous. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. I hope you're living your best life. Loveshack.org. I cheated. Now my life is destroyed. Oh, where do I start? Okay. My husband and I were each other's first love. When I was 17, I got pregnant and short after we got married. Our life was difficult. Our families helped us take care of our son, but while our friends were having fun and living a careless life, we were dealing with the new acquired responsibilities as parents. We were not prepared for this. To make things even worse, a year and a half after I got pregnant for the second time. I was not even 20 years old when my second son was born. My husband stopped studying and started a business with the help of our parents and I was left to take care of the two children on my own. My husband is a great father, but I have always been the one who had to stay home, do all the chores, and take care of the children while he was working 14 to 16 hours a day. He was working all those hours because we needed the money and he could not afford paying someone to take care of the shop, but somehow I started to blame him for the situation. Year after year, I built up a big resentment inside of me, and I blamed him for the loss of our youth and freedom. A rational part in me knew that I was wrong, but I ignored it. Fast forward until two years ago. Our marriage wasn't bad. We accepted that we had to work hard to give our two great kids an opportunity in life, and we worked well as a team. My husband is a loving person. He and my two sons treated me like the queen of the house, and I felt loved and happy. But I still had that feeling that I missed out because I got pregnant so young, and I still blame my husband for it. I know that is unfair, but that was how I was feeling. I was going to the gym three to four times a week, and during that time I had become friends with the capoeira instructor. Before I knew it, we were having sex. I knew what I was doing was wrong, but I somehow justified myself because I didn't have any feelings for the other man. It was only sex and it was a small compensation for all the experiences I had missed out on in my youth. I wanted to stop the affair every week, but the truth is that I didn't stop it till my husband found out two days ago. I never expected my husband's reactions. He put some of my clothes in two bags and called my parents to come pick me up. When I arrived home, my mother was crying and my father was completely red. My husband told me I was not welcome in the house anymore. I didn't have to ask why he was so angry. I knew immediately that he found out about my affair and that it would be best if I would go that night to sleep at my parents' house. I told him that I would give him time and space to calm down and that I would come back the next day to talk to him. And I left. My parents were so disappointed in me. They love my husband and they respect him a lot for the way he has built his life into a prosperous businessman and a good father. They were shocked, but nevertheless, I am their daughter, so they took me in and gave me some space to think things through. The next day in the morning, I went back home when my kids were at school and my husband was at work. He always come to take lunch at home, so I waited for him to come. When he arrived, he looked like a man who has been destroyed, and I think that it was the first time that I realized about what I had done. And when he arrived, he looked like a man who has been destroyed. And I think that it was the first time that I realized about what I had done and the terrible consequences for those who I love. I tried to explain to him how sorry I am that I never stopped loving him and that the affair was not about him but about me, that I have issues and that I would like to go to individual counseling and marriage counseling. He sat and listened to all that I wanted to say for around an hour without saying anything. At that point, he told me that he doesn't want to go to marriage counseling or individual counseling or do anything to try to work our marriage out. He said that if after all what we both had to sacrifice, if after all what he had done for me, I still had it in me to betray him this way, then he doesn't want to do anything with me anymore. He asked me to move out of the house to my parents' house. I begged him to give me a second chance and I explained to him that our kids need both of their parents. And then he got crazy and started to scream. No. He told me I if I was thinking about our time. kids' priorities while I was having sex with other men and other things that I don't need to repeat don't here. To I told him that I would come back later when he would be more calm to talk to again and to see the children. And I left. open, we wouldn't be in this situation. We wouldn't be putting our kids in this situation. I don't want to hear shit you got to say. Get the fuck out of my house. I came back four hours later to find out that my husband had already told my sons about my affair the day before. 
They were very upset and didn't show any affection towards me. They were both siding with their father. I told my husband that he shouldn't have involved our children and he told me that I should not have gotten involved with the other man if I didn't like the aftermaths of it. That my sons are old enough to know why we are going to divorce and is also important because they can, at their age, choose with whom they want to stay. I didn't think about divorce until that moment and when he said that, I felt dizzy and they had to help me because I started to see the huge consequences of what I have done. My husband called my father again and he came to pick me up. I wanted to stay, but neither my husband nor my children wanted me there. And here I am at my parents' home feeling alone and empty without three men. I have risked all what I care for, something that meant nothing to me. I have hurt my husband and companion and my two kids, and I still don't even understand why. I may lose everything as if I was in a self-destroying mission. <laughs> what should I do next? How can I win my husband and my kids back? What can you say to someone you have hurt so much? Will my children ever forgive me? Please give me some hope and advice. <laughs> Reagan Law said, as someone who was cheated on, let me say this, your husband is in for the most miserable ride of his life. I truly believe that someone who cheats has no concept just how incredibly damaging it is to their partner. I guarantee you that every ounce of pain you feel is multiplied 10 times in what he is feeling. Reasoning, explaining your sorrow absolutely means nothing to him right now. His world, his life, and most importantly, his heart has been destroyed, vaporized, gone. The emotions that man will feel over the next several months will be nothing he has ever experienced before. He will cry, he will lash out, he will become extremely angry, but he will heal. How he heals will say a lot on your future interactions with him. It took me years to get over it. The best thing you can do right now is back away. His disgust in you is going to multiply day by day until he reaches the top of the hill he will be climbing. When he comes to you, and he will, answer every single question he has. Do not try to cover up or downplay anything. He has absolutely no trust in you. If you try to get something past him, he will never believe a word you say. Forever. In the meantime, get yourself some therapy. I wish my ex would have shown me she was serious about fixing things. Mrs. John Adams said, your life is not destroyed, it is forever changed. You made a terrible, selfish decision, but you can get into therapy and work on yourself and work at becoming a better person who makes better choices or you can waddle in self-pity and do nothing. I believe you feel terrible, but I want to point out something to you. You did this to yourself. You have been fully aware of the choices you have been making. You and you alone are responsible for your actions. Your husband, on the other hand, is now in complete devastation. His world has been shattered by the one person he trusted more than anyone. He has suffered a tremendous loss and is going through the many stages of grief. He is angry and I am sure you understand that. One of the things I recommend for waywards is to seek therapy and next is to find a lawyer. You need to know exactly where you stand legally with your children, your home, your finances, etc. Because there is a very good chance you will not be able to reconcile. Be understanding toward your husband, but do not allow him to abuse you in any way. So the best thing you can do right now is begin to understand why you allowed yourself to cheat and prepare yourself for a future without your husband. Read, there are so many good books about infidelity that are helpful for healing your own, your husband's. Surround yourself with a good support system, friends and family who live by you and will support you yet also be honest. Love Shack is full of opinions and advice. Choose the things that can apply to your situation and disregard the rest. Only you know what is best for you and your family. Your biggest concern right now is getting through these next few weeks. It won't be easy and you will cry many tears and wish with all your heart you could undo what you have done. You can't, but you can become a better person and you can be happy again. It may not be with your husband, but life does have a way of moving on. I saw a quote today, focus on where you want to be and not where you have been. 
Make that your goal. Satu said, I think the marriage is over and done with. I hope you can all heal and find some peace, but I don't think you'll be doing that together. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I don't think I am. Get yourself into therapy. Good luck, take care. Z said, you're an extremely selfish person. Even your threat title is very telling. Now my life is destroyed. You betrayed a man who loved you and worked his ass off like a real man when so many others his age would have ran. And this is how you repay him? Reap what you sow.